Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. And in this video lecture, we are going to talk about another antibiotic, linzolid. A linzolid, what is antibiotic linzolid? Linzolid, general properties, linzolid, uh, mechanism of action and linzolid side effects in details. So let's start talking about linzolid antibiotic. The general property of linzolid antibiotic start with uh, used for the treatment of uh, infection caused by gram positive bacteria that are resistant to other antibiotics. So basically linzolid is a type of antibiotic generally not prescribed. Hopefully you know about some name of antibiotics which are prescribed by your doctor at some point of your time but probably you haven't seen this name linzolid kind right. So linzolid is not a brand name it's a class name but it is active against gram positive bacteria streptococcus staphylococcus those are the things but these antibiotics are used against gram positive bacteria that are resistance against other antibiotics which are available the commonly available antibiotics it is used to treat infections like pneumonia and infections of the skin and we know this gram positive bacteria the predominant type are streptococcus and staphylococcus which are present in the air all the time so generally skin irritation skin infections are caused by the streptococcus and staphylococcus and pneumonia is also caused by this kind of gram positive coccus only okay so what are the classification there linzolid is belonging to the class oxazolidinone okay remember the oxazolidinone oxazolidinone class of antibiotic so oxazolidinone is the class and under which linzolid is an example type of the antibiotic. What is the mechanism of action of linzolid? Linzolid disrupts bacterial growth by inhibiting the initiation process of protein synthesis. So generally we have talked about different protein synthesis inhibitor antibiotics. We have talked about macrolides, we have talked about other examples where we have 50s inhibitors, 50s ribosomal inhibitors, we have 30s ribosomal inhibitors and we know that it causes the transpeptidation reaction to stop, some of them causes the uh, translocation to stop some of them causes the initiation like the interaction of amino acid ltRNA to the A site to stop but this one particularly linzolid type antibiotic it has a unique feature that it inhibits the initiation process of protein synthesis and that is unique and when I say initiation process of protein synthesis you see that it binds to the 50s ribosomal subunit and prevent the formation of initiation complex so basically the initiation complex that is formed uh, is generally requiring mRNA it requires 50s unit it requires 30s units it requires the tRNA the very first tRNA that is F made tRNA for the prokaryotes so in this case what we can clearly see is that they require all these three components for initiation of uh, the protein synthesis and we call it initiation complex that is a 70s complex okay we call it 70s initiation complex it requires this fmate trna for the prokaryotes the first trna it requires the 50s subunit it requires the uh, 30s subunit it requires the mrna all together right this is the complex now this presence of linzolid it's going to inhibit the interaction of fmate trna to the rest of the 50s subunit so it binds to the 50s subunit and it will not allow the FMAT TRN to interact with it. So as a result of which the 70s initiation complex formation is halted. There is no way the 70s initiation complex is done. As a result, the protein synthesis is inhibited. Okay, the protein synthesis is inhibited. That is the idea of the mechanism of action of linzolid. Okay, binding to the 50s subunit and prevents the formation of 70s initiation complex in prokaryotic translation now in this right hand side image you can see there are two things you know uh, in the toxic effect in the right hand side and normal effect in the left hand side right now i want you to focus on the left hand side what's going on here is the bacteria is present bacteria has ribosome and in, this is the zoomed version of bacterial ribosome as i told you that the that this uh, linzolid binds to the 50s subunit and will not allow the fmat the first trna to bring the amino acid there okay as a result inhibition of protein synthesis, inhibition of bacterial growth and resolution of infection. This is the mechanism of action of linzolid antibiotic. Now as I said that this antibiotic is going up against 30s, uh, I mean binding against the 50s subunit and prevents the 70s initiation complex formation. Now in eukaryotes in our body we also have ribosome, we have 60s and 40s together 80s subunit altogether 80s initiation complex that that is required to form so it's not active against our uh, translation machinery so that's good thing right so targetedly this antibiotic is going to kill bacteria but it will not have any impact on our mammalian cell 
but in our cell we have mitochondria inside mitochondria we have their own protein synthesis machinery so mitochondria has its own ribosome so mitochondrial ribosome if you look at here this particular antibiotic linzolid do the same thing with mitochondrial ribosome which has 29s large subunit and 28s small subunit and in mitochondrial ribosome particularly the 29s 39s subunit of mitochondrial ribosome this linzolid can bind again to the a site and will not allow the interaction of the first trna to the a site there and as a result of which the mitochondrial ribosome interaction and protein synthesis can be inhibited so as a result of inhibition of protein synthesis for the mitochondrial ribosome mitochondrial dysfunction is caused and that results in lactic acidosis in the body there may be other issues that can be formed and found in the body the research is going on but still till now we found out that if we use linzolid antibiotics and it will not harm anything it will not cause any harm to our mammalian normal somatic cell uh, or somatic cell ribosome but the mitochondrial ribosome can be targeted by this same antibiotic and can result in the formation of lactic acidosis so let's look at the uses of linzolid what are the use of linzolid uh, the approved indication of linzolid goes like mrsa skin and soft tissue infections multi drug resistant staphylococcus aureus can be treated with it mrsa pneumonia mrsa multi drug resistant pneumonia and multi drug resistant vre bacteremia all these cases we use and pneumonia due to penicillin resistant staphylococcus streptococcus pneumonia so this are the situations you can see all the situations are places where uh, the infection or the disease is multi drug resistance so in all these cases there are multi drug resistance okay or, or or penicillin resistant so basically we only use linzolid antibiotics against infections which are multi drug resistance which are resistance and, and non reactive against all the other available antibiotic at this moment these are the approved indications we don't generally use it as a first resort we use it only when the other drugs fail to resolve the bacterial infection and we culture uh, the tissue we culture the sample to check if they are multi drug resistant or not if they are multi drug resistant then only we use linzolid type of antibiotic there okay that's the idea and uh, okay what are the limited cases effects limited cases vre endocarditis and mrsa bone and joint infections are the place where the the use of this drug is under limited uh, scenarios but approved scenarios are already mentioned skin infection pneumonia uh, mrsa vre bacteremia all these are life threatening conditions and once that is there because you know other antibiotics will not at all work so the only hope for us in all this dangerous infections and situations are the use of linzolid so we don't use linzolid for general simple infections okay and also uh, in meningitis it's under the limited case series so basically we need uh, to have a proper documentation and we need to have a you know uh, under situations under specific critical circumstances circumstances we can only use it otherwise we don't use it uh, in these occasions what are the side effects remember i told you one side effect is this because it has some sort of toxic effect imparted on the mitochondrial ribosome inhibiting the mitochondrial ribosome to synthesize the mitochondrial protein resulting in mitochondrial dysfunction causing lactic acidosis so generally well tolerated in the treatment course less than 28 days common side effect diarrhea nausea headache insomnia and rash which is very common kind and generally is present in most of the antibiotic treatments apart from that uh, more serious conditions if you think more serious conditions is, are myelo suppression which is generally reversible with discontinuation of the drug but myelo suppression is there optic neuropathy which was also resolved over time with drug discontinuation and peripheral neuropathy possibly irreversible so if we use this treatment for longer duration of time peripheral neuropathy can be caused which is irreversible in nature other than that myelo suppression optic neuropathy both are reversible in nature but also very uh, serious concern rare is the hypertension lactic acidosis pancreatitis see lactic acidosis which is uh, discussed here why and how it's done which is also rare pancreatitis is also rare but again uh, this all side effects of this of this particular drug linzolid treatment is uh, up and is present uh, if we use this drug for a longer duration of time more than like if it's longer than 25 27 days uh, so in that case only it's tolerated otherwise 
it's well tolerated if it's less than 28 days and a proper dosage of treatment with other precautionary measures uh, then obviously it's better and one more thing is that think about this uh, different uh, side effects like nausea vomiting headache insomnia rash, rash diarrhea these things are nothing compared to the life threatening condition like the uh, bacteremia or life threatening condition like pneumonia which is mrsa type or meningitis so against all these cases this kind of side effects are nothing so yeah uh, the risk to reward ratio is always uh, better in linzolid so this is all about linzolid antibiotic linzolid mechanism of action linzolid uses and linzolid side effects if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and please do subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye